Good evening. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak with you today. My name is Livy Agarwal and I'm going to be talking to you about one of my generation's most challenging issues, the survival of planet Earth. Firstly, a little bit about me. So, my big news is that it's my birthday next week and guess what? I'll be turning 13, so I will officially be a teenager. Although my mum says I've been displaying all the typical teenage traits for quite a few years now, which basically means she thinks I'm very moody. But what my mum doesn't quite understand is that us teens have so much to deal with. It's not just the physical body changes, the emotional hormone changes, the school work pressure, and the Snapchat social media street pressure. We also have to deal with the reality that our world is in a crisis and the grown-ups are doing very little about it. So when I look out onto the world, hopefully you can appreciate that us teens have actually a lot to be moody about. In five years' time, when I reach 18 and adulthood, it might already be too late to reverse the damage we're doing to planet Earth now. Here are just some of the scary facts we're faced with. One, every year we lose an enormous 1.2 trillion tonnes of ice from across the polar regions and glaciers. This not only impacts the animals in these regions, it also raises global sea levels and the rate that sea levels are rising is increasing each year. Two, Biodiversity is in rapid decline and the extinction rate is accelerating with over 9,000 animals listed as critically endangered. 3. Our planet's average temperature is increasing caused mainly by carbon dioxide emission linked with our human activity. This temperature increase sounds small at around 1 degree centigrade but it's making a massive difference to our global ecosystems. Our oceans absorb a lot of this carbon dioxide and this then warms the oceans and increases their acidity, which impacts coral reefs and all ocean life, and also shifts global weather systems. And we can all see the extreme weather events are on a rise, like floods, heat waves, droughts and storms, with over 70% of extreme weather events being linked to our human-caused climate change. So, it's a fact. Human-caused climate change is destroying our planet, it's changing landscapes, it's harming animals, and it's destroying places and communities. Today's teens will spend their lifetimes handling climate change and dealing with the impacts of the older generation's mistakes. It's usually assumed that teens will make their contribution to the world after they've grown up and had a few years in the workplace. But the urgency of the world's problems and the lack of action being taken by today's grown-ups means that today's teens need to be start taking action now. And some teens already are. You've all heard of Greta Thunberg. And of course, the, the UK has its own slightly lesser known teen heroes. There's Bella Lack from London who started campaigning when she was just 11 years old. During her teen years, she led campaigns to save orangutans and to ban wild animals being used in UK circuses. And she published a book about the impacts of climate change on young people across the world. Then there's Ella and Amy Meek, who started Kids Against Plastic in 2016, when they were just aged 10 and 12. Their charity, Kids Against Plastic, is now a national environmental campaign driving action through schools. So how can we get more of us taking action? What can we do? What can I do? Well, I believe in the power of being a moody teenager and research in the US has shown that this is actually a thing. The Environmental Education Lab in North Carolina has shown that driving action starts with educating children. They've proven that educating kids on climate change directly links to adults taking action simply because kids, to s kids start to pester their own parents to do things differently. In fact, this is even how Greta Thunberg started her environmental activism, by bombarding her parents with facts until they started to change their behaviour. This US research concluded that your climate change behaviour is much less to do with how much you understand the science of it all, and instead is to do with your view of the world and, how, and what you think is important. They've shown that because parents care what their children think, us kids can actually help adults to change behaviour. And guess what? In the research programme, they discovered that teenage daughters were the best influence, so go, girl power. It's all small steps, but so far, simply by being a moody teenager, I've managed to get my mum into recycling absolutely everything. 
I've got her to cut down on red meat in our diet and I've got her to change all our light bulbs to energy efficient ones and we made bee and bug hotels in the garden. And that's all just by nagging my mum. So, you see, being a moody teenager does pay off after all and if all of us teens unite in nagging parents we can make a massive difference to the future of our planet. So, I'm looking forward to my birthday next week and to officially become a moody teenager. My mum better get ready for making even more changes that will help us save our planet. And if we all unite in nagging our parents in similar ways, just imagine the difference we can make. Thank you for listening.